there everybody my name is Sandra welcome back to my channel today we are going to do my new Franklin Covey classic 2023 setup binder tour so I call this a tour rather than a flip through because because I'm not just going to flip through it we're actually going to talk about uh, where I have everything we're going to talk about why I have everything in there all of the new sections I set up why I did what I did and also some of the shops that some of the products are from all right so without further ado let's get started I will also link my actual setup that I did yesterday I will link that because um, that just kind of shows how I, my thought process of putting things together. I had to split up the videos because I did not want it to be a two hour video for you guys. Um, this one's gonna involve a lot of talking. So first of all, this is the Canyon Leather Binder from Franklin Covey in Periwinkle. It is the classic size. Um, the thing I like about it, other than the fact that it is leather, the stitching is the same color as the leather. And one of my favorite features is actually the color of this snap. Don't ask me why, I really like it. It's not magnetic, but I do notice that the strap is a lot longer than some of the other binders I own. So for with my Reese binder, for example, I probably have that binder stuffed as full as this one. And it kind of stretches. Like when you go to close it, you can see it stretching here. And this one does not do that. So that's kind of interesting. Um, other than that, it's pretty simple on the front. So you open it up, and this is kind of what I did. I added some more goodies since my setup video yesterday, um, and we'll talk about all of this. So first of all, I have a cloth and paper little card here, and this is from one of the recent subscription boxes I received. Um, it's probably one of my favorite pictures, so I just I felt like I had to add that in there because it's cute. And now I just my paper clip flew away on me. So I have that tucked in there just as a little picture. Then I also had this from Cloth and Paper. It is the one that came with the book, um, the book one, which I'm an avid reader. So to me, it makes sense. I have that. I have a little rose gold paper clip I ordered off of Amazon. Just put it there in case I needed it. I also have this tiny little card. Um, technically, this is something else. Um, but what I do is I flip it over the material. I don't know what kind of material this is, but it's so nice. I flip it over to the white side and I put this plastic card in front so you can actually read it. And it says, the return we reap from generous actions is not always evident by Francesco Gucciardini. I don't know if I said that right. All right. And then also from the reading box from Cloth and Paper, the subscription box, I have these uh, maybe it was from the reading one or maybe it was from something else maybe the the note taking one but I've got these Lux page flags and I thought they were kind of cute so I just stuck it right there whoops I don't want to push them off I'll um, we'll put it down lower okay and then I have some business cards I have this thing I believe I got this from I want to say it was from Planners Anonymous this came uh with the is it the Stargazer bundle? I can't remember, but it was when I bought my Under the Stars planner. And I think that's where it came from. So I put it there because it's all sparkly. I do have my word of the year. I don't like how this turned out, but this is from Cultivate What Matters. So my word words of the year, synergistic balance, because um, I have a whole explanation on my Cultivate What Matters power sheets prep setup that I, it's, it's kind of a long story, but Anyway, it's synergistic balance. And then I have from um, Ollie Block, these are the Ollie clips. I have a blue one that kind of matches the planner. Technically, this matches my Olivia binder better, but I felt like it kind of matched, so I put it there. I have a black one I'm currently using. Um, I might use that one as well. And I think I have a beige one somewhere, but I can't remember where they do with it. It's probably in my current planner. Um, so for now, I just stuck this rose gold one in there as well. So again, I have these in the front just in case I want to add them throughout my planner as I figure out what I want to do. And, um, you know, in case there's important paperwork that comes up. So right now I am still working out of my Reese binder, which is my red ruby one. And until the end of December. And basically, um, I will be putting a whole bunch of paperwork in here. So if I don't go into labor, I'm, I'm not sure if I <laughs> said that or not, but I am expecting a baby. The induction date is on the 30th of December. Technical due date is January 14th. So I'm not sure what's going to happen between those days. 
well, whatever happens, uh, one of my planners will for sure be coming with me. And um, this one, so like just as a little background, this video is being filmed on the 22nd, the same as the setup video. And I think they're posting, I want to say the 27th, 8th, or 28th or 29th, I can't remember, but around that period. And then I'm having the January monthly setup pretty much the same time. So I was kind of thinking and looking at my sections, I'm going to be setting up the home section for the month and the business section at the same time. So that video might be a fairly long video. I was planning on doing it tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be able to get up at five or maybe four. I haven't been sleeping well, so maybe I'll just get up at four and say, screw it. Get up at four, film both videos, because that video is going to probably take forever. So uh, because nothing in here is set up, it is all brand spanking new, okay? All right, so first thing, I have this clear page lifter. I stole this from my Teresa Collins um, uh, Onyx binder. Um, I did recently purchase that in a haul as well. I'll link my latest haul video. I, I have a couple. One where I got this binder and I think I got the Teresa Collins Beautiful Life Onyx binder as well. And yeah, I just, I really wanted that one. I have the light pink one, the blush one, but I also wanted the Onyx. Um, so I, anyway, I took this out because I really wanted a clear page lifter. And from Franklin Covey, so far that they have available right now, um, well, the Olivia binders are no longer available, but the clear page lift, lifters can only be found in the old Olivia binders from last summer and then the Beautiful Life binders from that are still available. Okay, so this first page, it says this planner belongs to Sandra. I ordered this from Heather B. Co. on Etsy. Um, I might not link every shop that I come across, but I will leave their names um, so you guys can at least, I don't know if I can do this, you guys can at least see who they're from because uh, that's one of my pet peeves. I want to be able to like know where I can buy stuff from. And Heather has some really amazing dashboards. I'm pretty sure she ships out of Louisiana. And I just, I thought this was really pretty. To be honest, I'm not a huge floral person, but I don't know, this one kind of struck me and I, I really wanted it in this binder. So that's what I did. So there that is. Then I have my overview. This is from Cloth and Paper. I have some inbox sticky notes here. So if I have like a random thought, all I have to do is pull off one of my sticky notes. And um, it looks like I put them upside down, but that's fine. And I just can use them and put them on any of my dividers or put them on the overview, doesn't matter. My very first tab is goals, okay? So I have it right on top of my cloth and paper year overview. This is a vellum dashboard from uh, Fancy Plans Co., and it says a goal is a dream with a deadline. So I figured that was perfect for my goal section. And then I go into my year overview from cloth and paper. Um, I will link this video as well. So this was my final, the third video, I believe, of the Franklin Covey 2023 prep videos where I was filling out all of my inserts and filling out all of my goal and like roles and values and stuff through Franklin Covey. Um, and so what I did here, I, in that video, I actually showed how I converted this from an eight disc punch to fit my Franklin Covey Classic because um, I do have the whole punches at home for compact and classic. And so I can punch my own inserts, but right now cloth and paper does not sell unpunched half letter inserts unless you purchase from the subscription box. And if you do that, you're kind of blindsided each month. You don't really know what you're getting. Um, like it's not like you can just order from the website and get what you want for Franklin Classic. So that's the only thing with that. So here I have my first quarter set up. Again, I do all of that in that third installment of the video, so that will have been linked for you. And then I continue through the second quarter, the third and the fourth, and then you get some note pages for aspirations or whatever. I have these goal pages. I was planning on filling this out with my January monthly setup. So I'm gonna have to make some notes for myself just so I remember everything. I almost wonder, if I should do that right now. This insert is from Fancy Plans Co. And you can really kind of narrow down what your goals are. So I do use Cultivate What Matters Power Sheets. That is my main goal planner. It is the first thing I check into in the morning when I wake up every day when I do my planning process. But I always believe that reiteration is the best way to stay on track of your habits, your routines, your goals. And so if you see these things all the time, 
it kind of gets ingrained to, into your head. This is what I need to do. I need to take care of this. I have to get on it. And so this is my plan. So any any goal that I have for January is going to go on these sheets. Okay. So I have two full sheets of there. This is from Cloth and Paper. Um, this is called an, ik I, can't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, an ik Ikigai. I don't even know. But anyway, it just kind of shows like uh, what you should be doing for your passion, mission, vocation, and profession. And then I wrote little like statements for myself. Then this is year preparation, same thing, cloth and paper. So I'm talking about my <laughs> synergistic balance. And then we're talking about a vision board, although I didn't use pictures, I just wrote out some notes. This one's for pictures, but I don't know if I'll get that far. And that's the year in review at the end of the year. This is my discovery ledger. Again, kind of discovering what my values are, what my roles are. I get into the new Franklin Covey values and roles, which I just filled out. Um, I think I've, the last time I filled one of these out was about two years ago. So um, it was time for a new one. So my mission statement is here. And then I have this Teresa Collins um, insert. So I haven't filled this out yet, and I probably will just do this on my own time. This will basically be like a highlight of everything that will happen for 2023. So, um, and it's also a goal type thing, right? So things like big dreams that I have for the year, um, big things that happened throughout the year. So this might be something I work on throughout the entire year. I mean, obviously, if my, my son is born in January sometime, I'll write that down here. Um, focus, these would be big tasks I want to focus on, places we're going to go, and top five big goals or big dreams. So um, that might just be a work in progress. So the next set of um, items here. So remember, um, keep in mind that that was a side tab. Okay, so that was my first tab. The next one is a top tab. And this is my brain dump section. So this is from Fancy Plants Co. You will notice I hole punched it on the wrong side. Um, I only did three sheets like that. And then the remainder of them I, I correctly did. So that was a positive thing. Um, but anyway, so this one, you can write whatever you need to do here. And then you can write a variety of things here. So you could write home, school, work, etc., etc., or you could write um, do now, do later, do sometime, whenever. Right? You could like do like a different um, what's more important, and then you can kind of list your priorities. So that's convenient. You can write down all of your to dos, and then what you would do from there is you take all of these and then you transfer them to your monthly or you transfer them to your um, weeklies, right? So this is also from Fancy Plants Co. It is called a brain dump um, to do. Get it out of my head and onto paper. I did order a couple of these in my last Fancy Plants Co. haul. So you've got these prompts so you can like kind of look at these and just kind of brainstorm ideas of what uh, kinds of things that you might need to do in your life and there's a notes page. And then what you do is anything you can think of, go in any of these boxes, you write it down, you simply get it out. Whether it's a thought, a task, an idea, doesn't matter, you write it down. And then and this is where you prioritize. So the other one you might want to do, um, th that other one might just be for like, the different sections of your life and then like write down all of your tasks and projects etc um, but this one you can prioritize as well so you can do it now soon later and if time and I, I really like that idea okay then last but not least this is from fancy plants co as well it's very similar to this inbox but just a little bit different you can see so you can either say whether it's completed you can transfer it cancel or completed so i, I threw that one in there too just in case Okay, the next tab is a side tab. This is going to be my schedule tab. I got this from Heather B. Co. as well. I love it. I am in love with it. I had to find a few different ones that were actually meant for half letter size. So sometimes when you go to order something from Etsy, you have to be careful because some companies or owners will only make certain products in compact or they'll make it in a five or half letter. So you really have to check your sizes before you order. So this is just a year overview. Um, I love the rainbow aspect because it will honestly go with any different planner I use. It doesn't even matter. Um, I just love it so much. So there's that. Then I have this yearly fold-out calendar. I have a certain idea what I'm planning on using it for. Um, it probably, well, it might be a perpetual calendar, but I think it'll just be for various things I want to write on there. Um, 
It could be for um, cycle tracking. I don't know yet. Haven't decided. But I did put that under my schedule. I've got my holidays and observances. And I don't know if this is going to include all of the holidays or if it's just U.S. holidays. Um, but I'll have to double check through that because I, I live in Canada. So I'll have to double check. I do have my Teresa Collins future log. So I really like this because what I do is I go through and I write down all of my son's um, school dates, whether he's got PD days, days off. Um, I write birthdays in here. You name it. Everything goes in here. This is kind of where my planning starts from. So when we get to the monthly section, I'll show you what I'm planning on doing for January for tomorrow's video. So um, yeah, I'll basically write in all of those dates. We'll probably do that again. I'll write this in before I go and write uh, fill in my my month so gives you one for like 2024 so if you know things that are happening usually what happens like schools will post information ahead of time so you can put that in there as well if you want okay so the first section is month and you'll notice here that I skip the week and that's because I put the weeks in with the monthlies this time and I am using Franklin Covey classic seven habits planner inserts stay on two page um, I really wanted to give these a try and so if you guys have watched my recent hauls, I've had a few different uh, planner inserts because I wanted the ability to change things up if I wanted to. So I have the Blooms inserts. I ordered an extra Blooms monthly only because I am planning on tracking some YouTube stats and like Instagram stats and stuff like that. So I have that separate, but I have the day on two page blooms. I've got the day on two page season, but that only goes in up until June. And then I've got the seven habits day on two page up until December, 2023. So I, I like to do that. So like every, as soon as my seasons expire in June, I'll probably order a different set of inserts because I like to mix and match. Um, I'll, I might use double inserts. Um, you know, it just, it just depends. And then plus it kind of helps me out because I have the Teresa Collins weekly and they also have monthlies on them as well. I'll show you what I did with that one here. So I really like this monthly calendar because not only does it have this like, you know, kind of like a decorative page on the front. So I feel like I don't really have, I don't have to use a dashboard, right? Like it already has this really pretty decorative page. You get three months here. And then on this side, I like it because of the color. So this month is black on top, but it's highlighted where the dates are. And then each of the boxes has lines. So sometimes it's nice to be able to, to see, to write down um, appointments and dates. And then you have a line instead of just writing in an empty box. So I don't mind this. And then this is from Fancy Plans Co. This is my monthly pre-planning sheet. So I will go to my future log. Um, I'll go to my brain dump and anything that's on those two pages, I will write down on here. And then this helps me plan out January. So then moving on, this is my Teresa Collins. So normally what it looks like is it's two pages and the inside is the calendar. So the calendar is just completely blank. Um, each of the boxes on the calendar is blank. But what I did is I glued it together. And the reason being, because I don't like this, okay? <laughs> the seven habits for classic anyway, I don't know what the other ones look like, but you only get half a page for the index and half a page for the master task list. If you guys have watched my previous planning videos for the monthlies, my task list is immense. I do not have room for like a small task list at all, like at all, at all. And then I figured, I'm like, okay, well, technically I don't really have a task list in my business section unless I borrow my, um, my monthly, I, I could actually do that. I could borrow my monthly blooms insert package because I was planning on using that for my, my YouTube stats and stuff. But, um, on this section, I'm going to write down my goals and tasks for the month, kind of like a monthly overview, I guess. Um, the birthdays, the priorities for that week, for each week of the month. And then here I can write down all my personal tasks and here I can write down all of my business tasks. Okay. So I, I like that. And those are my two favorite pages. I love this page and I love this page. And sometimes I feel like the calendar in the middle just isn't, it, it's kind of pointless for me. So I glued it together. I have done that in the past. I took the divider from the Teresa Collins weeklies just so I could show where my new, like where my week started. So that was the month. Now we're in the week. 
Okay, and that's what's kind of dif differentiate my weekly from my month. And right here, I only have one week in here because <laughs> my binder is so full that I do not have room to include more. So I took them all out and then I'll just have to put in a couple at a time because I just don't have room. So I left the 26th of December to the 1st of January in my old binder because I'll be planning with that one tomorrow. And this one is in here. All right. So now we get into the dailies, which is also a top tab. I used this cloth and paper dashboard. This is a fairly new one. It's called Implementation. And I start on my dailies. So what I probably will do is any index information from the dailies will go on this page. Okay. Um, and I think what I'll do is even though this is, says the first on this page, um, I only put about half, I went up to the 14th, approximately half of my dailies in here, again, to conserve room because the real estate in here is very tight. <laughs> and when I'm finished up to Saturday, I will take everything out except for this first page. I will keep the index in here and then I can continue referencing my new material. And then these ones I'll put back in my binder that I have established for my seven habits inserts. I do keep everything that I'm using. I keep them in front of me on my desk so that I can go back and reference material that I am looking for because I do write, tend to write important information in my planner at all times. This has become my number one planner. I have got rid of my bullet journal this year. I am so surprised at myself because I have been bullet journaling for over five years and I I realize I'm just at the point of being too busy. I have a full-time business. I will be having three children <laughs> shortly, um, not all together, wow. I will be having my third child shortly and I'm just going to be too busy to do all the things and I want to focus more on my art in the, like in the background kind of thing. So I need to have just a single planner and not have to worry about anything else and I feel like there was a lot of pressure for my bullet journal at the same time, and I don't want to feel that pressure anymore. So I'm just happy to be in one planner. I'm so happy. Okay, so my home section comes next. Now this is a side tab, right? And this dashboard, I believe this is from Heather B. Co. as well. This was ordered a while ago. It's in silver foil, and it says your next chapter is going to be amazing. I think this is really pretty. And then... Um, this is where it's new for me because I've never had, I never utilized bottom tabs in my life. And normally I don't have like a, um, a divider and then another divider. So there might be something I'll put in between here. I haven't quite decided. I might actually, I might very well put that, um, that yearly fold out calendar. If I, if I track my cycle on there, I might put that under trackers or I might put it here. I haven't decided. Because technically it could belong to schedule, home, or routines, really. But anyway, so the first one is meals and chores, right? So this is where I keep my grocery list. And I have a variety of them. These are from Fancy Plans Co. I love these so much because you can write, this is how I use them. I write the store on top of here. So I usually have one for Costco. I have one for Walmart. And then I have one for Sobeys. Those are the three main stores I shop at. And then sometimes I'll have like a, a list for other places that I want to get stuff from. Like if I need dog food, I'll write that down on a separate one. This is a printout from Fancy Plans Co. It's meal plan. So you can write your menu and then you can write your shopping list. It's a fold out one, which I kind of like. And then you can also write what you have on hand and then you can write down what you need. These are from Franklin Covey. They're meal plan and shopping list, kind of the same thing. And I guess technically you could fold it to kind of do the same thing, but it, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't done that, but you could if you wanted to. Uh, I haven't really used these much because my husband had been working so much. He had worked, um, he had just got back off a six week rotation. And then before that he was home for a week and then he was working five weeks before that so if he had a job where he was in the city at home every night and I was cooking meals I would totally use this because it would definitely save us money but right now I really play it by ear my kids are so picky that I don't even bother meal planning because if I meal plan half my food goes in the garbage and I don't eat leftovers I can't I just can't do it and even if I do eat leftovers which sometimes I try to force myself I hate my food. 
I can't stand it. I, yeah, it, it just doesn't work out well. So I, I try, I don't really use these that often, but there might be over Christmas. I might be because, uh, like, we'll see if I feel like cooking, um, with a new baby on hand, but, um, yeah, he'll be home for the next four weeks. So it'll be nice. So I, I can use those for the next couple weeks. Next, I have a weekly cleaning routine. And now I think I, I didn't really put this stuff in order because I have some, maybe I should just do that now because it's going to bug me now that I've mentioned it. So any food stuff, I think I should quit altogether. So let's put food first. So I've got a wine list here. And then I also have like non-food items and personal and household items and meal plan ideas. Maybe I'll put that before. I've also got a freezer inventory that I made. It's a little outdated right now, but I mean, it'll still be fine. Then I've got cleaning and like this is part of my Swedish death cleaning movement. But I want to keep that, so we'll put that in front of there. So this stuff can go right here. So that's all my cleaning. And then this will go behind my meal plan. I'll leave wine list first, non-food items, personal household. <clears throat> okay, so I have healthy snacks. And this was something I came up with when I found out I was pregnant. I've got meal plan ideas. This is stuff that my kids will eat for the most part um but like hamburger helper for instance i made hamburger helper even if i don't add vegetables my daughter won't go near that with a 10-foot pole like there's no way she'll eat plain rice or she'll or no, she won't even eat rice she'll eat plain spaghetti she'll eat plain noodles um she likes ma macaroni and cheese as long as it's sharp cheddar she's very picky like i mean do you guys have picky kids because tell like tell me tell me what you do like i have a friend whose kid who's both her twins will eat anything she'll put it in front of them they'll eat it and i'm like sometimes i wish my kids were more like that oh and this is actually from cultivate matters by the way this was a wild card okay um so then i have um sandra meal so again this was when i was pregnant these were ideas i had when i was going through my gastritis incident then I took a freezer inventory. It's a little outdated because this was September 4th. And so a lot of this stuff is already gone. So I need to go through that again. Then I've got my weekly cleaning routine. This is from Fancy Plans Co. I haven't decided what I'm going to write down here. Um, I don't know if I want to go through this weekly because I feel like that's a lot of um, paper to waste. And I don't have that many of these inserts. So I don't know. Okay. And then I have, this is something I did myself. This is something that kind of followed the fly lady and um, another cleaning system that I wrote about on my blog and just kind of like going into each of these things and like really detailing them um, during that month. So during the month of January, cleaning the basement, the laundry, the landing and the filing cabinet. So those would be the tasks I would be doing in January. So I, I kind of like this still, so I want to keep it. These are all the areas to organize. Um, this again would be um, kind of along the Swedish death cleaning movement where I go through a certain area, get rid of everything I don't need or want. Okay, cleaning zones, again, um, kind of like that whole zone zone idea. Again, another kind of clean mumba routine. And then another brain dump about cleaning in like areas of my home. Okay, so then next we have another bottom tab. This is sinking funds. So I, I don't have any information in here yet because I haven't actually went and switched it all over. So I have this dashboard from Cloth and Paper. This is the newest one that I, or maybe not the newest one I got, but I really like this one. Um, it says stop measuring days by degree of productivity and start experiencing them by degree of presence. So this is probably one of my favorite dashboards from them. And then what I did is I ordered the check registers from Franklin Covey. So before I was using some pre-printed, um, I think they were from the list lab in my previous planner and they worked well, but I had to change like the top part. I just had to like write down different headings because it didn't match. And here, what I'm going to do is write down the date. So number, it doesn't matter, but I'll write down the date in that entire spot. Um, the place or, um, I guess how much I have, and then whether I 
um, how to debit, to a credit, and then how much is left over. So this is for sinking funds only. So if I have a total balance of like $200 for school, I would write it there with the date. And every time I added to it, I would just write it down. Or if I took out of that sinking fund, I would record it. So this is kind of starting from scratch. I have a sinking fund for school, clothing, pets, medical, parents, because we, we owe money to my husband's parents, birthday, uh, a pot for me, one for my husband, our vehicle, like vehicle, so that would be like, um, like oil changes or maintenance, vacation, Christmas, house. Um, this year we're saving up, we're going to be buying paint for our bedroom, for the hallway, for our fence. <laughs> we're going to get our gutters done and also try to save up for a Dyson vacuum. Okay, Costco, property tax, emergency fund, and Jeep tires because I need new tires for my Jeep for next winter. And it's going to be really expensive because I have a Wrangler. Um, a Rubicon Wrangler, actually. Okay, and then I have one blank one back here just in case I need it. And then moving on to personal. So here's another one. Oh, actually, I have school in here too. So I actually, I just realized I don't have anything in here for school yet. Um, I probably could move my son's list of words. And I'm not sure if I want to purchase inserts or make my own. But I want to do some kind of like schedule for him because we have um, like on different days of the week. Maybe I could do like a weekly schedule type thing. We have... Um, We'll do home reading every night and then some nights we'll do review of his vocabulary and then some nights we'll have like studying for his unit test. So I want to put that information in here. I just realized I had nothing except for his list of words. So let me grab that. So currently I was keeping this in my weekly section in my previous binder and then I was also kind of keeping tabs on what we did throughout the week in my weekly. And I think I just wanted to have, like when he's in school, I wanted to have his own section for that or my own section so I could review and write down any notes of things that they've got going on. And yeah, so I really like having having that section there. Okay, so then we get into personal. And I have this dashboard from Heather B. Co. I love it so much. It is my Aries symbol. Um, this technically isn't the astrological sign for Aries. Aries is kind of like plain, but it is the ram. So that's kind of what that stands for. Okay. Um, I did get that in gold and I just love it so much. And then I've got a whole bunch of personal information in here. So I've got a list of things that I want. Um, so this is going to have to be updated because I haven't updated that in forever. But this is again, Lister's Gonna List from Fancy Plans Co. TV show ideas. I have not updated that. Um, I've watched both of those already and there's so many shows I want to write down here. Again, and this is probably going to become more important. I'm going to have one for movies as well because now I don't have my bullet journal. So I, I need something like this in my planner. Okay. I have a life organization system. Definitely going to have to go through this and rewrite it. I no longer use my compact. Um, I will, like I'm keeping my compacts. I think I had a question about someone wanting to purchase one of my compacts. My planners are not for sale unless I list them on the Franklin Covey buy and sell or, you know, somewhere like Facebook. But um, other than that, I, I won't, if I ever were to sell one, I would tell you guys as well. Like I'll let you know ahead of time um, because my subscribers would pretty much have first dibs. But I just wanted to to say that like, I, I have lots of binders. I've got a really nice collection, but I am, my collection so far, I'm really loving all of my binders and I switch them out so frequently and I potentially could go into a compact in the future. So I don't want to, I don't want to sell them. Um, so anyway, I'm going to update that. That's something I'll work on too. So I'm just going to write that down. So then I have an important to me list. This isn't important. I don't know why I have it in there. Just, I felt like it was necessary at the time. I've got life categories. I really like this and I think I'll keep this. This is kind of like ideas of all of the things for myself anyway, of things that I would plan for. So kind of like planning prompts. Um, you guys can take a look at that if you want and you can take a snapshot. Um, there's quite a few, quite a few things that I, you know, that I track in my planner and, uh, it's, it's important for me to, I should actually look at this and maybe update it too, right? So I've got goals and business as well on the back. 
Um, Christmas gift ideas, again, I haven't updated that, but I probably should. I should just kind of take a look at my entire personal section and go through and update it. But these are all um, me writing out on Franklin Covey Wide World Paper. I've also got karaoke songs to practice. I haven't looked at that in a while because I haven't gone to karaoke. And inspiration words. So originally I was using these for my... Um, I think I actually, I'm supposed to have two pages of these. I don't know where the other page went. This was when I was doing my um, decorative like journaling. So I was doing like art journaling stuff and like writing out words and painting and doing a whole bunch of fun stuff back when I had time. Now I don't have time for that anymore, but there's still um, inspirational words that you can use um, just to give inspiration. So I left it in here because it's a good kind of reminder. I do have a purchase tracker for next year, so if I want to come here, write down anything I purchased from different shops on Etsy or maybe Amazon, because, I mean, how, have you guys done that? I mean, I'm sure we all have. You order stuff from Amazon and then you can't remember what you're getting that day. Yeah, it happens so often, especially if you order a lot. I also have passwords log. Again, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I talked about that before. Um, I left it in here, but if I ever do put passwords in here. I have to make sure no one steals my planner and I also have to make sure I don't share this part online with anybody. Okay so the next section is my reading section. Again it's under personal. I have these sticky notes from Cloth and Paper which I love and this is the reading bundle from Cloth and Paper. They had this in one of the subscription boxes one month. You have a blank spot here. You've got a reading log so you can write down all of the books you've read and then you can put the books you read during a month which is super cool because again no bullet journal so I need a place to track this information and then you actually can put like where you left off and you can write a synopsis you can write um, information on it like the plot and characters I think that's so cool especially if it's a book you enjoy and you can do that per book if you want I put a couple in there and then there's also a vocabulary sheet. Like, how cool is that? I'm obsessed with that. So if there's a word I come across that I don't know, I'm going to write it down in here. <laughs> I think that's so cool. And then I have my own list of all the books I want to read. So I've got nonfiction books, um, a whole bunch, actually. Um, fiction books and then my witchy books that I'm just interested in, like astrology stuff. And um, yeah, I'm kind of interested in that stuff. So next one, routines. I've got habits in here, I've got my day themes, and I've got my daily routines. So I put this one on front because it looks really nice as a dashboard, even though it's not a dashboard. It's literally just for habits. I am expecting some different ones from Fancy Plans Co. They're coming soon. Um, I haven't actually entered this in, but this will be my um, health habits, but I'm going to keep it in here. Um, I think that's just perfect. For my daily stuff, I've got journaling, reading, planner check-in, expenses, weekly habits, budget, kids journals, tarot, manifest gratitude affirmation. I've got my routines. Again, this is from Fancy Plans Co. I've got AM skincare, PM skincare, weekly skincare, homework routine, day themes, batching tasks, morning routine, and evening routine. And then I have this weekly fold-up calendar, so it kind of gives a snapshot of what my kids are up to. I did put my husband and myself, but um, I'm home, my husband's usually working, and then I put baby. Again, baby's routines change so drastically so quickly, so I don't really know where I'm going with that, but I put it in there just all the same. And then I have a few health and fitness trackers from Franklin Covey. I wouldn't mind tracking my water on here, but if I'm going to track my water over on this health one anyway, it's probably, I, I might not even need to do that. I might just pull those out. Okay, the next section is projects and notes. So I put notes first. These are from the Seven Habits note paper. Um, I really liked how, how neutral they were, so I put those first. So if I do need extra note paper, I'll just come to this section. Probably we'll have to add more. I have a few Teresa Collins project planning sheets. I really like these. They're good for projects. So um, for instance, if I'm cleaning out my garage or if I'm going to paint the fence, I can list out all the things we need to do and give myself a timeline or even doing our flooring in our bedroom over summer. So I have three of those 
And then I have a project planning sheets from Cloth and Paper. I've only got two of them, but you can put what the focus is, the time frame, and then you can write down some notes and ideas. And I believe they're double sided. Yeah. Okay. So then next comes my business section. You guys, I have so much in this planner, I can't even begin to describe. And by the way, I forgot to mention in this video, these dividers are from Dividers Are Us. You can find her online. Um, she's also on Etsy, but I think her shop is closed down, but her website is open. These are the clear ones, but I am currently waiting on a set, like a second pack of six side tabs and four top tabs. You can buy top tabs and side tabs separate, but I ordered a bundle and I got them in frosted. So I have one set of frosted and then as soon as they come in, I'm going to switch them all to frosted because I like that better in my planner. So I put this dashboard from Heather B. Co. in front of my business section because I think it looks so darn cute and it just feels like a business dashboard. I don't know. It's just really cute. It's got my name on it. It's perfect. I have this is called a storyboard but i'm planning on using it as kind of like um a kanban board for my videos so if i have some videos i need to do for the week they will go on here i'll just use sticky notes to put it on there you could also use a dry er erase marker next i have an instagram feed planner this is from fancy plans co you can simply put the date and then what you want to um to have whether it's a reel or a story or a post or something right okay next is my schedule um, I do have now I wonder why I did that this should actually be behind the schedule tab I don't know why I put it in front but I will move it behind so this is schedule now for my business so I do have two schedule tabs in this planner I put this white dashboard behind this because this is from Fancy Plants Co. It's really light, pale pink, and all it says is Girl Boss. I thought that was really pretty. And again, it totally belongs in my business section. So close that. I've got my day themes. Um, I, I don't know what this is going to look like come time when baby comes, but so far this is what I've been working with for the last few years, and I'm going to continue working like that for now. This is my schedule and this is kind of what my schedule will go back to once things start to settle down for me. These are inserts from Fancy Plans Co. They are undated, but it does have the month on the front. Each month comes with five weeks, which is perfect. It has a completely blank monthly calendar. Um, I might change these Monday to Sunday. I haven't decided yet. And if I do, I, I might just wipe them out and not use stickers. I might just write them in myself. Um, but I'm going to put my blogs on here and my videos. And then you get your weekly calendar. So what my plan is, is to go like YouTube, um, Instagram, um, blog, etc. Like sticker design. And then just everything that I have going on in my business, I can write what I'm doing for it that week. And I think that's absolutely perfect. I love this planner. It's like the teacher style planner. And I really think that this is going to help me stay organized this year. So like I said, five weeks of that. And I might get my Blooms insert, um, the monthly calendar, just to record my YouTube stats and potentially my income because I like to record what I'm making every single day. So from all of my different affiliate programs and sources, I like to just add it on there just to see it at a glance to see if I've been progressing or getting better or whatever. Um, it doesn't really help me with tax time because that's kind of something I track over a monthly basis or a quarterly basis, but um, I do like to see it as a snapshot. And then for my stats, these are from the List Lab. This is my business yearly overview, so I kind of get a glimpse of, glimpse of how my year has gone as a review. This is Fancy Plans Co. These are the social stats tracker. So even though I have this sheet, I can see it as a list, but I also like looking at it as a monthly view on a calendar. So like I said, I might put that month in here. I've got my website analytics for my Squarespace website. I have analytics for my, my, um, my blog. I also have analytics um, that I do on separate sheets. So I'm not sure if I want to order something from Etsy or make something myself or just use um, blank paper. That might just be something as simple as that. The next section is income. So 
this could be potentially where I put another monthly <laughs> monthly insert. I haven't decided yet um, and just put all of the income that I have. Now, yearly income report, this is for like everything, okay? So this is how much gross income I would make, how much expense I had to pay out that month, whether I had to buy printer ink or sticker paper or something like that, and then how much I come out with in the end. So next, that's the yearly income. Then I've got breakdown per month. So now this is strictly for my, my sticker shop. So either from Etsy or my website, I write down how many sales I had on a particular day and then how much the sales came to. That goes to December. Then I have a brainstorming section. So um, a tech, right now I don't really have anything in here, but it would be for like sticker ideas. I was going to put blog ideas in here, but then I realized I had a tab for blog and I wanted to keep all of my blog stuff together. So I've got my blog schedule which I'll go back to my monthly calendar and write in which blogs will be posting on Mondays because I only post them on Monday. But I do have them currently written up until April 24th. So for the next month or so, I'm taking a break for when baby comes. So these are all of the ideas that I have. I have to cross those off because I've written out most of them already. I also have this from the List Lab, and this is a blog post creator. So you can basically give yourself an outline. You can write down resources, um, the title, when you're supposed to post it, and the category. I have a few sheets of those. And then I have some notes. This is from Fancy Plans Co. Again, I feel like my whole binder is composed of Fancy Plans Co. Um, and then this just tells me like what paper option I need to have my Cricut on for certain types of sticker paper because I have quite a few different types. <laughs> okay, and then the very back page finder. So the only thing I have back here, I have this Simply Gilded B6 stitched notebook and this is my commonplace book. So every time I watch a video that I wanna take notes on or get inspiration or have inspirational quotes, it goes in this book. So kind of like a, I don't know, kind of like a journal slash bullet journal but not really it's just um an idea place where i can write down notes and thoughts and brainstorming ideas and inspirational stuff and then i've got a couple of extra compass cards back here so when i get my plastic page finder when i i have a couple extra i just haven't pulled one out yet i will pop that in there and put that under the day that i'm currently on so you guys that concludes my entire flip through slash tour of my new binder setup for 2023. What did you think? I want your honest opinion. What you think of this new binder? What do you think of the whole divider idea and having my business section and personal section together? I know a few of you have had conversations with a few of my subscribers and you guys like the fact that I'm not only getting rid of the bullet journal, but I'm also putting my business and personal sections together. Really for me, like I, I call it my 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 balance word of the year is balance but for me it's really about downsizing because I want to focus on goals that I haven't been able to focus on in previous years so namely my art I want to be able to get into that again and I need to cut out other stuff in order to do that so um part of me is just you know I can I have my planner I take my planner everywhere I go done you know I don't need two planners I don't need um other stuff. The only other planners I technically have, <laughs> I have my goal planner, but that's kind of separate. That's more like an actual goal thing where I follow through. Um, even though I do have goals in here, I, like I said, I believe in re reiteration, but my Cultivate What Matters goal planner is hands down one of my favorite planners. I've been using it going out. This is the fourth year I'll be using it. I love it so much. And then I also use my budget planner. So the budget by paycheck workbook by the budget mom, Tamiko, Tamiko Love love that like that has let me grown financially in leaps and bounds like i never would be where we are right now like with my family our finances we have come so far from where we started and i have to say that that book and my use of that book has tremendously increased my financial um, situation they brought more financial awareness because i actually got into the habit of tracking all of our expenses and stuff so anyway Besides those two, this is my only other planner. I do have my Erin Condren that I was doing decorative planning, but I'm probably going to cut that out for the first little bit because I just don't have time. And uh, But I'm in love with this binder. Like I'm so excited to start planning in here. I want to start right now, to be honest. And I feel like, I'm like, oh, I can't yet because I'm not done December. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know down in the comments section below. Give the video a like. 
be sure to click on the bell notification button, subscribe if you're new, and I think that's it. So we'll see you guys for the monthly setup for January because that's also going to be a long video. We'll have business and personal to take care of. Then it will be the weekly as well. So thank you guys again for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.